our goal for this module was let's I want to understand how the NDBI changes over a farm for a given time. We have all the pieces together now. We know how to compute NDBI for each image. We know given a polygon, we can run a reducer to find the average value of NDBI for each single image. Now let's see how do we combine all of this to create a time series chart. So far what we've done is we have taken the S2 collection. I have a farm boundary here. And over this farm, we have found all images and we have a collection of in NDVI images, we mapped that function. So we now have each NDVI image and we want to display a time series chart. Earth Engine has a whole range of charting functions that are available under UI. So there's UI.chart. This has got many functions that will allow you to create plots in uh, Earth Engine. We have images, so we look under here. There is this function here, ui.chart.image.series. This is used to create a time series chart. This takes an image collection and gives you a time series plot. Let's run this function. So we'll say ui.chart.image.series, control space to autocomplete. And it'll say what image collection you want to chart. We'll say I have this collection with NDVI you'll get one time series line for each band in this image. This has got 14 bands, right? 13 Sentinel bands plus one NDVI band. We don't want 14 lines in a chart, so we just select the NDVI band. So I want the chart for only the NDVI images. Region, that's a geometry. What reducer? So in a plot, you can only display one value, right? You have an X and Y for each time step, you want to display only one NDVI value, but I have this 800 pixels within my geometry. What value should I display? You can say, give me the average value on the y-axis. Scale, 10 meter, x properties on x-axis, what do you want? By default is the time timestamp. So we just say, use that. And this function will actually extract the data, run reduce region, and create this plot for you. Let's print this to see the result. And you get this time series chart of NDVI. Let me, you can use this button to pop it out. And you can see this is how NDVI changed over this region uh, in the course of year. This is also interactive charts. So I can hover and say, on August 27, we had an image over this region the average value of this farm was this particular NDVI value. And you can create this. You can see there are some outliers. The NDVI dropped here suddenly because all the pixels might be cloudy. And when you cloud, the cloud reduces NDVI. So uh, we'll, to fix this, we have to So far, we have only removed images with some clouds. But doesn't it mean that we have this farm here? If there was 1% cloud in the image, but that cloud was over my farm, you'll still get that image. So a better way to deal with clouds is to remove pixels which are cloudy. And that is called cloud masking. Earth Engine, there are fun cloud masking functions available. So you can, this one says this is Sentinel cloud masking function. Given an image, it'll remove all the cloudy pixels. And we say, I'm going to map this function for NDVI. But before that, I want to remove all the clouds. So I'll map one more function of removing clouds. And you can see my chart improved suddenly. All the pixels where we had the cloud, those pixels are gone. And now I have much more smoother chart. Right? So again, when you're doing data processing, the typically you start your Sentinel-2 collection, filter it, map a cloud masking function, map whatever, NDVI, function and then you can create a chart like this. You can also customize the chart to your heart's content. It's very powerful. You can name the axis, you can do the chart. If you want to know, I have a whole course on charting, which I'm giving a talk tomorrow in the conference. So come to my lightning talk. I'm going to show you all the possibility of charting in Earth Engine. Uh, so uh, you'll do pie chart, this chart, you know, you know, all different kind of histograms and all of this, you can create that. In the interest of time, I just want to end the class soon. So let's try this out quickly. 5C. We have the full script. Delete the geometry, draw a polygon, and 
run the code. You'll see the NDVI over your farm uh, in your uh, region. So try this out. The last script here. I have a, when I run the, I have an error in the chart. Okay. Visualize it. This is too big. Yeah, you have a very big region. Uh, generally, NDVI doesn't make sense for like a huge region. So many people say, give me the NDVI of the city. That doesn't make sense because urban areas, water will have low NDVI, vegetation will have high NDVI, and you will get like a flat curve. Or it doesn't make sense. So make sure a polygon is over vegetation, and then it'll make sense. Done? Okay. You can also pop this out and download the PNG file. You can also download the CSV. If you click download CSV, this will give you the actual data that was used to create the chart. So you can see at each date, this was the NDVI. So maybe you, if you are more comfortable with your own charting library, you can just download the CSV file and create your own chart in whatever library you want. But again, stepping back, what Earth Engine is enabling you is draw a polygon anywhere in the world, change the time range, and you suddenly can get a time series chart without downloading, processing, doing anything, and you just get it instantly, right? That's something that is really powerful and allow this has happened because you can now you're using the map reduce concept, you're using the full computation power that Earth Engine allows you to do. I have some tips here. Do not use if-else conditions in your code. I do not want to see any code from any of you uh, using if-else. You can uh, replace it with uh, filter map reduce uh, example. I have this example in the user guide. This is the guide that I wrote while I was at Google, which shows you concrete examples of code that uses if-else, how to convert it into a map reduce. So please uh, look at that, use that. Uh, I have another whole course on reducers. So if you are interested in there are many different kind of reducers, a lot of advanced things you can do. Uh, we can learn more about that.